important that we begin to change the mindset of young people to know that your vote counts. They don't understand that the legislative arm of government is actually a co-equal arm of government. We have an uh, incredible amount of potential. Whatever it is I was doing because of my personal DNA, it had to be of an international standard. Which is what, seriously speaking, is all about. Like I always do anyway, today we are going to be dealing with the issue of psychological and mental abuse. Now, this is not just a women's show or a men's show. We'll take a short break to show you some little documentary to explain why the peg for this story is one woman who's turning things around through a TV show she will be starting very shortly right here in Nigeria. Welcome. This is Seriously Speaking. In 2013, a young Nigerian blogger chose to share a personal experience on her blog, an experience of psychological abuse. Many who read that piece had mixed emotions, some of love and others share hate for her. Essa Walter Arks has since moved on, putting ahead of her lessons learned over the years and channeling her inner strength to fulfill purpose. This qualified barrister is today a wife and mother and is currently studying to qualify as a professional counselor and child psychologist. Also in Essa Walter Arks Kitty is a talk show, Femina Speaks, currently in the works and which aims to focus on helping women learn to rise above abuse and live their normal lives. She speaks more about this in the studio. So Essa, hello. <laughs> Hi. Welcome. Thank you. I must say you're very brave for allowing me to do this interview. Do you, think stupid. You, <laughs> do you think you're brave? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Time will tell. Time will tell. <laughs> but you must admit, though, that when those stories broke out, the story of your experience broke out two years ago, people must have concluded that you're a terrible girl. At the time, two years ago, I didn't handle it. I couldn't. I just shut down and yeah. ran away, literally, Yeah. Um, for a while. You left Nigeria? Until I did. Until I was ready to you know, be myself, heal, mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. what really happened, because I didn't really understand what happened. When I said I was going to talk with Essie, there was a particular question that somebody wanted me to ask you. Okay. And um, it goes like this. Let me just read it. It says, was it your experience? You've told me generally, was that just it? Or you thought you could be helping some other people? I actually... I think it was just journaling. I hadn't thought about helping anybody. I didn't think I could help anybody. Do you think you can still help somebody now? Oh, yes. <laughs> so how did you get to this point? Um, my life changed, like you can imagine. What happened? You had after, a child, like got married, or you, you learned yeah, some, not, not, you went to study even, psychology? <laughs> not, I am studying psychology. Oh. Yes, but not even the child or the marriage. Just, I didn't have that, um, piece I used to have where I can write anything I wanted to write or do whatever I wanted to do. you're afraid of repercussions? Uh, well, of... It, wasn't, it wasn't like I was afraid. It was just whatever I, I, I did was judged, was viewed through certain lenses and was turned into something else. Um, and, and I think I had two options. Um, stop social media in altogether. Stop talking, stop leaving, just die, or wear it. And that's the reason why I think I kept the name Walter in my name, because mm -hmm. I, I used to just run away from the name then, like, oh, don't call me that. And then I thought, you know, just, just wear it. But what is your father's name? It's my father's first name. Okay, so the second name is not public. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you using your father's... That's, that's, what, that's the name under which you blogged anyway. Yes. Okay, so now this TV show, how did that start? Um, it started as a radio show. I had a radio show, and it started because you were Why saying you something start about the radio yeah, show? you were saying something about psychological abuse. Yeah. Um, after everything, I started to understand. Like at the time, I blogged. I didn't even understand what was going on. I didn't understand what had happened. I didn't mm -hmm. understand why, you know, it went out and became something else. But after everything that happened, I started to think about. Um, I started to read a lot. I was saying earlier to Lola that I. Did you quit your job? I did. Was that also as a result of all of that noise? Um, 
I wouldn't want to blame it on that. I was, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't the right fit for me at the time as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. you know? But I started to understand psychological abuse, mental abuse. Um, as a teenager, I'd experienced um, physical abuse from a boyfriend. And yes, and I thought that was it. Did you ever tell your father? Oh, I did. Oh, did. Did your father deal with a guy? Oh, yeah. But your father is a policeman, isn't he? He was. <laughs> <laughs> I did. You know, so I thought whenever I heard abuse, my mind always went to battery. My mind always went to someone yeah. hitting someone and all of that. So when I started to understand psychological abuse, I realized it was deeper than physical abuse. Physical abuse, you can see the scars. You can see, okay, the eyes are black, the neck is that. But psychological abuse, is how you feel. And sometimes people tell you, what do you mean feel? Because they can't understand how you feel. So I started to really become interested. Why does this happen? How can you explain this is happening to you, to somebody else? And most importantly, how can you heal? How can you help yourself? So the, the radio show started. So that's why the radio show started. The show has been recorded now. Yes. And we'll soon be on Everest. And you're with four, three other ladies? Yes. We're talking four about issues of, of the mind. Yes. So now these issues of the mind is what I'm going to take on to a panel discussion. But as a young man, mm -hmm. and I like the work he's doing, doing with people who are sexually active, trying to teach people to be responsible okay. and all of that. Okay. And uh, he also ran from God. You are running from God right now, aren't you? I'm not running from God. <laughs> <laughs> You're not running from church, not from God. I don't think I'm running. I think I've stopped running, to be honest. Oh, that's nice to hear. So let's go discuss this on the panel. Okay. So if you don't mind, I'll invite him to join us that's on the fine. panel. That's thank fine. you very much, sure. Essay, for thank sharing you. this with us. And thank, thank you, Mr. Ark. Me. Also, I believe he's the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> we'll <Yeah>. be back. <laughs> Yes, I'm on set now with Mr. Chooks Unduka as well as Essie Walters Ark. So it doesn't look like it's just Essie we have brought in here and she's crazy. <laughs> but we also know that some people are working in the area of helping people develop the right kind of values that will affect their minds. Now, you run, I, know, I called you Breach International before. Breach you are repairers. breachers, breach repairers. repairers. What are you repairing? <laughs> These uh, breakdowns, um, the challenges. Uh, in raising the total child, I find out that um, when orientations are not in proper perspective, like what we were sharing earlier, mm -hmm. uh, maybe because an adequate light is not shown on values, mm -hmm. issues of value, issues of identity. We have met all manner of people in the course of our work who didn't even know anything about value. They were looking for something to follow. Yeah, and nobody no. brought in your orientation, nobody. That, I, I think, I think, as you said something about that, like we're always looking for something. Nigerians are always looking for something, right? Not just Nigerians. People. Everyone wants something to follow. Everybody wants something to follow. And if there's nothing to follow, uh, whatever looks appealing out there, you just fit in. I, say, I, I saw you nodding, you know, I, and I wonder this, if we all know what is right and what is wrong, how do we end up being susceptible to so, so psychological abuse? Anybody can be psychologically abused, anybody. If you're looking for something, you will find it. And if you don't know what you're looking for, you You'll will find, find anything. Yeah. So if you come in contact with people who understand manipulation, control, brainwashing, then anything can happen. I think basically everybody wants to be loved. And many times those who are leading, it's not mainly past. Everybody who is in position of authority, before you get followership, there must be some level of affection. You care. Oh, okay. For your followership. And they start to like you. Uh, uh, of course. They start and then, to of course, look up to you. The issues of introducing ideas begins. Because the truth remains to that. Even for those who are in courts, the truth of the matter is that they, they are, they, there's an appeal. Before you even begin to join, there's an appeal. I mean, they've given you advantages of what you stand to gain. Mm -hmm. And there's so much affection. There's, there's some, some love shown. Okay, so naturally, that brings you in. But the other aspects, of it, because I've met people too who uh, are gone that uh, side in Cultism. our work, in the, in, oh. in the case of our work. You mm -hmm. know, so, and you find out that they were looking for something. There was, there was, an, there was a desire to gain something. Mm -hmm. But the various angles to this issue was not defined. Well, How do you deal with psychological abuse? I think it's a collective effort. On uh, whose part? Everybody. The, the followers the, and the, the, follow, every, the followee and the followed. Every, everybody. <laughs> because I think too that um, even if I look at the issue of parenting. Uh, we are so responsible. Want to blame us too. Parents, <laughs> parents, uncles, aunties, the, the society in general. Because there's so much uh, trust. You too are coming from an angle. But I think that 
if every one of us can just rise up to these responsibilities, mm -hmm. I find absent parents, for instance, we are all pursuing well to want to get the best for our children, fantastic. But you see, it's not enough. We are absent. We, many times we find children in homes who are living with their parents, but the parents are not available. I there would... are domestic servants, there are, everybody's just everywhere. I, 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 and they are looking for attention. Somebody just say something, somebody just, just get connect carried with. away. Yes, somebody mm -hmm. just connect with. Now, many times on Sunday, they are, they are posted to pastors. If they dump them there and they believe it's just a safe heaven, whatever is the wrong things that they're bringing, let the pastors correct. So, but I think it's a, raising the total charge is a collective effort. All okay. of us are involved. But I do know the message I'm taking away is the fact that it's a collective responsibility. Collective responsibility. We should learn to talk about it, yes. regardless of the repercussions. Yes. Is that okay to Open safe? up. Open up. And then they should watch your show too. And hopefully yes. a book is going to come out soon with all of the... Hopefully parents meeting. should come for our meeting. Okay, Read I'll books. do you a favor and... Scroll the next effective parenting class yes. so that people can come to your class. At least for <laughs> you come this way. But I think the responsibility still lies with those that are the ones in power. Oh. There's a responsibility in it. Yes. But and again, for those who have issues, seek help. Don't hide. Don't hide. Regardless Open. of what. And I encourage you and I hope that you will achieve the heights that you want to achieve. Thank you, Thank you very much for being on the Thank show. You. And thank you for watching. I hope we communicated. We'll see you again next week. Bye.